Hello, YouTube. I just wanted to do a quick video of my Hustler 5BTV antenna. I am pretty much done with it. I have it guy wired off just because I had the stuff uh, from another antenna that I used to have. So they say that these things can withstand pretty good amounts of wind, but I don't know. I had it already, so I just went ahead and, you know, got the guy wires. They're not wires, they're actually Daycron, Daycron rope. But, uh, and it was windy, really, really windy the other day, and it's really held it still. So up there we've got the 80 meter trap with the 80 meter, then the 40, then the 15, I think it's 15, the 20. This antenna works surprisingly well. I am really, really happy with the results. I always had heard that these things were a compromise antenna. Well, what isn't a compromise really? But I always hear of, of people buying these because they don't have the space. Well, I do have the space. I can put just about any antenna I want up here, but I grabbed one of these. It only cost me $209 and it was worth it, man. So I'm trying not to shake around here too much. So I'm not 100% done yet, but I'm getting close. So what I did was I just stuck a 4x4 in here. I know I could have used a pole, but I wanted to use a 4x4 because I like, I'm going to put a box on the outside of it, a weatherproof box, and uh, put a ballon in there. So I wanted to have that. But you can see here I've got, got it attached. I got one of those DX Engineering. Uh, I already had it from another project. And it's not made for this antenna, but I made it work. One of them DX Engineering uh, fold-over things. You know, that rooster hears me out here. He's really something. So anyway, I made my own radial plate with a piece of copper-coated metal that I found at Menards for like $2. I bent it around there. And then almost all of these wires, these radial wires that I've got going on here, it's all that underground pet uh, leash stuff or whatever that I got off Amazon. It's a little bit less than $20 for a roll of it, 500 feet. So I've got them radials. I still want to actually add more, but it's still spring out here. I mean, it's spring and the grass hasn't grown up yet. I'm hoping that it'll cover all these up like they say they do. That stuff doesn't really grow well out here. So. That right there is just a piece of PVC pipe I stuck down the concrete. And the only reason I got that there is because I wrapped the coax around it so I could make an ugly ballon. So you can see how I've got that wrapped around there. Uh, I'm not 100% done yet, but right now that coax is just twisted and, and tied. Uh... Oh, you see that little green wire coming out? It's my ground wire. And then the coax braid and the center conductor just twisted around. And I, well, actually, I got them crimped off on the ring terminals and I got them fastened on there. So it, it works, it's working good. Uh, and I just put this little fence stuff around it just because I had it. My wife had it from last year. Uh, I'm gonna paint that four by four post white. That little cap came off of a prior uh, project I had. So everything I've got is always from a prior project, it seems. A, a tower right here with a Mako V58 antenna for the CB band. I've had that up there for a long time. I do a lot of talking. Uh, we have a club around here that talks on channel 14 and plus I don't live far from the interstate and I am a truck driver so I like to hear traffic uh, on 19 and stuff to see what's going on but that's a 40 foot tower and then I have a 22 foot pole on the top of it. So I've got that uh, Mako about 60 feet from the bot from the base of the antenna off the ground. It gets out pretty good. I gotta trim these trees when they leaf out, man. They're really in the way. But if you can see right there, I don't know if you can see that, but you see that ladder line that's coming up there. 
ladder line uh, is coming from my house. The ladder line comes up right there, and then there is a uh, dipole right there. You really have to look close. You probably can't see it because of all the tree branches, but the one of the legs go down out there in front of my house, and the other leg comes this way. And it goes out out there well that was cut to 80 meter and it doesn't get out nearly as good as this thing somebody told me to cut it a little short and turn it into a zep antenna so i did that T today i took 17 feet off of uh, both ends and then used my antenna tuner and it helped it a lot but still this hustler beats that out this is the best antenna that i have right now uh, when I'm on 10 and 12, I, I actually flip over to the Mako and I use a tuner. That, that Mako uh, brings those in pretty good. Uh, and 17 meter, I use that dipole. But a lot of flipping around and stuff, but you know, what works, right? And then over there, I got, I got to watch this freaking rooster. He'll attack me when I'm not, he'll attack me when I got my back turned. He's really sneaky. Uh, I'm gonna walk over here. I've got another tower over there That's got a uh, one of those old Shakespeare CB antennas on it. And the only reason I got that up is because I had it laying around and We put that up there in one day, so it doesn't get out nearly as good as that Mako. In fact, I'm gonna take it down But then right to the right of it. I got a VHF antenna because I got a two meter radio in the house And that works pretty darn good there. So anyway, man, I just wanted to just wanted to take a quick video of this and just show my setup I'm very happy with this hustler if anybody is contemplating buying one of these I say do not hesitate grab it the only thing that I was not happy about with this hustler is uh, it was missing that little screw that attaches the whip to the 80 meter uh, uh, trap that little screw was gone and that was aggravating but I salvaged an old uh, CB antenna and uh, sawed it off and used that and two of these hose clamps were stripped from the factory so next time I go to the hardware store I'm gonna get some stainless ones anyway and lay this thing back down and replace them and uh, put some anti seize on this thing to keep it nice and fresh but anyway so there it is a hustler 5b TV uh, making contacts all over the US and all over the world on this thing they say it's uh, the low angle of uh, radiation pattern makes it good for DX, but to be honest with you, uh, I'm, I'm talking everywhere, even close by on it and far away, and it does not out, it does not get out worse than that dipole that I showed you. So anyway, there it is, man. 73.